Okay, you're in Microsoft Excel and you need to evaluate whether another cell is blank. Now, in the first instance, we need to find out what percentage of calls were dropped by Bob. So 16 calls were dropped out of 68. That gives me 24%. And if I copy this down, you can see that I get two errors where there are no values for number of calls or dropped calls. So we need to get around this problem by evaluating whether the cell in column B is blank. Now, one way of doing that is to run a test that evaluates whether B2 is equal to an empty text string. So that's two speech marks, nothing in between. And if I copy that down, you can see that it returns true wherever I have a blank cell in column B. Now, what I can then do is put this within an if statement. So this would be my logical test, comma. The value of true, well, let's say we just want to return a blank cell if column B is blank, comma. Otherwise, we want to perform the calculation, which was 16 divided by 68. Close the bracket for if, press enter. Now, if I copy down you can see that it leaves those cells blank where there were no calls in column B. Now, I've returned blank there, but you could return something else. So in place of this empty text string here, what I could enter is no calls received. So now if I copy that down, you can see that that works. Now there is another method which is not quite as robust, but I'll mention it anyway. It uses the isBlank function. And what I can do is just point at a cell and it will tell me whether that cell is blank or not. Then I could use that isBlank formula as my logical test in here. It would do the same job. However, I'll just undo that. So I'm now back to testing whether there's an empty text string. Now I just want to show you the problem with is blank. Now, sometimes a cell appears blank, but there is actually a formula in the cell. Now, what I'm going to do in this cell here in column B is I'm going to write an if statement and I'm going to say, is this cell here in column A not equal to an empty text string? If true, return a number, otherwise return an empty text string. So in other words, that 156 is only going to appear if there's a name in column A. Now, if I delete that name, then this cell appears blank. And with the logical test that I've used in column D, which tests for an empty text string, you can see that I get the result that I want, no calls received. But over here, where I've used is blank, it believes that this cell isn't blank. And it's quite right, it isn't blank because it contains a formula that is returning an empty text string. So that is why, in many cases, using the test for an empty text string is more robust, because sometimes you're going to have a column that's returning blank as the result of a formula. Okay, that's all I wanted to cover in this particular video. Hopefully that's useful. If it is, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll see you next video.